Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this section of this video, I'm going to about to give my answer about my lecture questions So, my lecturer sent me this question and I'm going to answer about it And the question is, what is the advantage and the lack of the use of technology in English learning? So, without any further ado, let's answer it And here I'm going to give you about four points on the advantage on, on the lacking so on the first point I'm going to discuss about the advantage of course the first point of the advantage is easier for us to find the answer that we don't know yet I mean the first of course uh, make it easier for us to find the material or answer so that students have no difficulty and take a long time to understand because when we talk technology, students only get an understanding of the material when the teacher or lecturer is teaching. But beyond that, they have to learn on their own. So the presence of technology can help students in helping them to better understand the material. And then the second point is a faster way to use this on English learning, of course. As I said before, with the presence of the technology, it makes the student easier on the learning process so the learning process will be faster and the students can even find out what they may not understand on a search engine so maybe the teacher says something strange word that we don't understand and then uh, we don't have time to asking that to our teacher then yeah we just type it on the search engine like Google or something kind of like that and then we find out the answer that's it as simple as like that and then on the third point we got an easier for the student to understand the technology in this modern era humans are required to begin to adopt and live side by side with technology with the presence of the technology in the learning system it is hoped that students can get closer and understand how to use technology as well as possible of course in this millennium era in this uh, technology era uh, all of people at least they have skill that required to know about the technology I mean when you uh, when you propose a job on the future there is some skill that require that you have to have skill about the technology such as Excel or maybe Word something kind of like that so yeah it is good for students future of course and the last point for the advantage that is the motivate students for more learning about English of course nowadays gadgets are common things that everyone has including students this is what make these people very attached to their gadgets because they are comfortable with the features I mean sorry the features provided by the technology this is what can also motivate students to use gadgets whether or it's laptop tablets computer or cell phones used for learning so that they don't feel bored with learning but still educate students in the era before gadgets appear okay we already talked about the advantage now we're going to the lax point on the first point of the lax uh, depending on the students for the technology so here a technology is like a coin that has a two side so it has a uh, drawbacks among them, the depends that is caused by being too easy for students to get access to the material or answer is considered to make students more lazy to think and rely on the technology to find answer and even cheat on several occasions. So it is more like uh, my teacher give me an answer and then uh, I don't know the answer and I'm not going to think about it, I'm not going to find out all what I want to do is just like type the questions on the search engine and then boom the answer appear and then I just give an answer but I don't know what the questions meaning and I don't know what the answer meaning so that's the problem um, with lazy students so this is like the drawbacks from the technology it make us more lazy I guess so the second point is the weak signal and maybe device that it's not good for learning as we know that distributions of a signal in our country is still not good enough so there are still many areas that are affected by this as a result it is difficult for students to do online learning 
On the other hand, there are students who may come from underprivileged families, so it is not possible for them to do online learning because they do not have gadgets. I mean, like I have relate with this, so I have not. I don't. Know, I don't. I don't. I don't really have a good laptops. I mean, in the performance, so it is hard for me to do a presentations to my lecturer. So yeah, it is. It is an obstacle for me to. Uh, to do online learning, of course, in this, especially after the pandemic era, we use an online learning so much, and yes, the technology uses much in here, so it is lacking of the online learning model, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to the third point here. We got, yeah, spend more money for the internet. As we know that the internet is not free, the use of the gadgets requires the use of the internet, and the use of the internet requires a fee. This is still a problem in some areas because parents may have to spend more money to buy internet or Wi-Fi package so that their children can participate in online learning. And then the last point is that uh, reduce the interactions and understanding about the material. Like the last one is. Uh, what I say in my authentic point before I mentioned that learning technology makes students understand that material quickly because they can easily search for answer on search engines however this seems to have a negative impact on lazy students like I said before those who study online sometimes ignore their teachers or lectures when teaching and they don't even try to find the answers about the material because psychologically they may not be in direct contact and there is less interactions with the teacher so that make them feel underestimate the teacher and the material presented by the teacher so uh, many cases of this like the students when they not open the cams on the zoom or maybe they're not hearing what the teacher is saying so this is some disrespect from the student to the teacher and of course the students become lazy and shows non-respect so this is not good I mean this is the drawbacks of the technologies used on online learning of course yeah I think that's all about my answer and correct me if I'm wrong I'm sorry I think that's all what I want to give to you Thank you for watching this. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.